This segment sponsored by Foster Financial. Welcome to Wealth Wednesday, where we get holistic financial advice from Foster Financial. And joining me today is their vice president, Caleb Doan. Hi, Caleb. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, how's it going? It's going really well. How are you doing? <laughs> doing good. As we know, <laughs> the end of the year is creeping up on us. And we've been having this conversation about the items that need to be completed um, before we hit December. Mm. So let's continue that topic. And you actually have something new for us today. Yeah, yeah. So we talked a little bit about, I think, Roth conversions mm -hmm. and then tax loss harvesting. Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about required minimum distributions or RMDs, because okay. this is kind of another piece that, that needs to be done by the end of the calendar year mm -hmm. with, with kind of one caveat, okay. um, but it's, a, it's an important thing to do because there can actually be some, some penalties that the IRS oh. likes to uh, <laughs> employ if you don't take these. Okay, so let's start off. What are those? What are RMDs? Yeah, so this is sort of a, a minimum amount that the government actually starts forcing people to take out of their pre-tax retirement accounts when they hit a certain age. Okay. And that age has changed over the past five or 10 years multiple times. So mm. it used to be 70 and a half, and then they bumped it up to 72. And then yeah. I think it was back in January when the Secure Act 2.0 passed, they bumped it up to 73. And there's actually kind of on the calendar, it's gonna go up to 75 oh in 10 <laughs> years. And so I think sometimes there's a lot of confusion. Mm -hmm. And you know, of course, when you're dealing with the government, there's always gonna be confusion. Right. But uh, it's important to know if you have to take a required minimum distribution. Okay. Um, and that's laid out. Typically, you, you can see wherever your assets are held, usually it'll tell you how much you need to take out for your mm -hmm. RMD but you need to make sure that's done by the end of the calendar year. Otherwise there are, it's like a 25% penalty for the amount that you haven't taken. Okay, and so that's so funny, like the halves always get me on that yeah. number all the yeah, time, it's hilarious. Um, so this applies only to accounts that have not been pre-taxed. Exactly, yeah. Okay, yeah. so those that um, have, which we've spoke about, mm -hmm. give us a couple of examples of pre-taxed accounts that people may have. Yep, so most of the time people's 401ks is pre-tax, mm -hmm. um, traditional IRAs are pre-tax, um, and then there's some annuities and stuff like that if they have the IRA designation there. The, the designation for those accounts is actually called pre-tax accounts. Mm -hmm. Pre-tax in the sense that it has not been taxed yet. That's how the, the IRS kind of, the money in there is pre-tax, hasn't been taxed yet, will be taxed oh, in the I future. See. Exactly. Okay. Pre, before taxing. Okay. Yes. Not the fact that it's been pre-taxed. Right. That ahead of time. That can go two different ways. Yeah. Okay. This is good. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So th these are funds that have not been taxed yet. And so that's pretty much the reason why it exists, right? So the government wants some of their money back. Yep. Yep. <laughs> sooner than later. Okay, so as people are deciding um, the best time of the year to take mm -hmm. it out, it's anywhere throughout the year, but sometimes it just happens at the end of the year. Is that what it is? So it's important to like establish a strategy when you're getting close to this okay. RMD age because mm -hmm. it, it's different for everybody. Um, okay. I'd say you know, people who do it at the very end of the year, maybe they've just forgotten that they need to take it in general. Mm -hmm. And so they need to pull it out all, you know, quickly so they mm -hmm. don't get penalized. Um, but a lot of times, if people are taking consistent withdrawals from their IRA, um, let's say, then we'll spread it out over the course of the year so that instead of having to take, you know, $10,000 out in December, mm -hmm. you know, we can take out $800 a month or whatever it is leading up to that. So it just gives people more of a, a consistent kind of stream of income. Mm -hmm. um, in, in the one caveat to it needing to be done by the end of the year is that if it's your first year that you need to take an RMD, you know, let's say somebody turns 73 this year in 2023, mm -hmm. They give you a little bit of a break and they say, hey, if you don't take it by December 31st, you can still take it by tax time of next year without getting penalized. Oh, like that April time right. frame, okay. But then you still need to take your 2024 RMD by the end of, of mm -hmm. 2024. So it's kind of like you're taking two in one year. So I, I think a big question is, okay, so you're forced to make the withdrawal is that really a big deal? Like, what's the pain in it? Why do people? Mm. Why are people challenged to make this withdrawal? That, that's a great question. I, I would say the people who who get hurt the most in this situation mm. are the people who have done a really great job saving for retirement, mm. and maybe they don't need to withdraw that much from their accounts. Okay. So, I mean, let's say they have you know Social Security is is already turned on at this point. 
they have maybe a couple pensions, you know, a husband and wife both have a pension coming in and they're not taking big withdrawals. And let's say they have a pretty sizable IRA. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden the government says, hey, you need to pull out $40,000 yeah. or $80,000 and add it to your taxes, mm. that can all of a sudden like skyrocket your taxable income and bump you up into a higher tax bracket. bracket. Okay, yeah. I see. Exactly. Okay. So it's it's really the tax side that people mm -hmm. kind of get get blindsided with yeah. on some of these RMDs. Okay. Well, good thing we have you, Caleb. Thank you so much <laughs> yeah. for coming in today. Thank you. <laughs> and if you would like help strategizing for your taxes or even really breaking down and understanding your required minimum distribution, well, guess what? Foster Financial is here for you. They have complimentary consultations. We'll have their phone number listed below and we'll be right back.